What's up guys, it's Inferno, and today I'll be showing you guys how to change the storage drive in your laptop. Today I'll be using my brand new Asus Zephyrus G14, but keep in mind this will work with most laptops that allow full access to internal storage. To get started though, there's going to be a couple things you'll need. I have included links for those items in the description down below. The first two things you are going to need are an NVMe SSD hard drive and an enclosure. I recommend purchasing a hard drive with a bigger capacity than the one that came with the laptop. In this case, I will be using a Sabrent 2 terabyte hard drive. The SSD enclosure I purchased is also made by Sabrent and will include all the accessories needed to install the new drive. Let's get started by placing the new drive into the enclosure. First, you secure the hard drive into the enclosure. Next, we'll secure the back cover. Once we have the hard drive inside, we'll connect a USB-C cable to the enclosure and then the enclosure to the laptop. Once we have the enclosure connected to the laptop, we'll have to go to the Sabre website and download the hardware. This should be the Cronus True Imaging. Once you've downloaded the software and it's installed in your laptop, go ahead and open it up. You will select the clone disk choice from the tools option menu. Follow the instructions and turn off the computer. Remove the external hard drive, then turn the computer back on. Once the old disk is cloned to the new disk, we'll remove the screws on the back of the laptop. Now that we have the laptop open, we're going to replace the laptop's hard drive with the one inside the enclosure. Once we've swapped out the old hard drive, we're going to put it inside the enclosure 
and then secure the back cover. So this is the speed test for the old SSD. Now we're going to check the speed of the newly installed SSD to see if we gain any speed improvement. So as you can see here, between the two, we have high write speeds of 1.6 gigabytes per second for the old drive, while the new one has high write speeds of 2.79 gigabytes per second. And as far as the read speed goes, the highest we had here was 1.79 gigabytes per second for the old drive against 3.23 gigabytes per second for the new drive. So we're getting nearly double the performance, so we not only have a bigger size capacity, but better speed improvements. Okay, now that we've switched out the hard drives and we see the computer has booted up, let's check and see how much additional storage we've gained. As you can see here, we have 1.78 terabytes. So that shows that now we have practically double the storage as before. So the next thing we're going to want to do is format and erase the old 1 terabyte drive so we can use that as external storage. So let's Plug the enclosure into the laptop and format it. So as you can see, the capacity is 935 gigabytes, so let's go ahead and format that. As you can see, swapping out the storage drive isn't hard, especially when you have someone to walk you through it. So don't forget to smash that like button if you want more tutorials on computers, and subscribe if you love the channel. And if you want to stay updated on my Zephyr City 14 videos, make sure to hit that notifications. Until the next video, peace!